Hi everyone, it's Dot, and we're doing a little bit of an experiment tonight in my low carb kitchen. I have here chicken quarters. I've got some Frank's hot sauce, and I have a little bit of blue cheese, which means I'm making a buffalo chicken with blue cheese dressing. And the experiment, I've never made blue cheese dressing before in my life, and I hate blue cheese dressing too, so this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, a bit of housekeeping before we begin. We are playing with the lighting a little bit for this video. Not sure how it's gonna work until we actually edit it. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll go ahead and switch it back the next time. But just for now, just to let you know in case something looks a little bit off. Now, the reason why I chose to do a blue cheese dressing when I don't like blue cheese is it's Lent. And usually when it's Lent, I like to play around with my diet a little bit and do things a little bit differently. And this time around, what I decided to do is that once a week, I'm going to make a dish with a food that as a child, I always hated and thought was like, oh, why would anyone want to eat that? I did this before a few years ago, and that's why now I absolutely love mushrooms. I hated mushrooms as a kid, never tried them. They just were gross to me, and I heard the word fungus, so I never would eat them. So my first dish is going to be a blue cheese when we start this. My husband has been poking and prodding me also to try some liver, so which I've never had in my life, and it sort of freaks me out, and I know I should eat it. And yeah, so I think next week there could be a liver video coming up. But anyway... I have blue cheese here and what I did, I did some research and I did the, I found a mild form of it. So it's not as strong and robust as like a Rofort and I can't pronounce it. It's French, but I'll put it in the information below and, and with the recipe. So what I'm going to do right now is I've never crumbled blue cheese and I had to do some research and actually do watch a video on how to actually crumble blue cheese. And what I need to do right now is actually freeze it for about five minutes to get it nice and firm so that the crumble will be a little bit more uniform. I'm just gonna go ahead and just slice into wedges. So just like that. I'm not quite as uniform as I would like, but hey, that's okay. Get the tray right here, put these on like that, and then they're gonna go, it's gonna go into the freezer for about five minutes. While this is in the freezer, I can get going on the chicken. All right, what I've done is I've melted about uh, four tablespoons of butter on the stove and I'm going to add in just a moment the hot sauce with it. But first, I just want to go ahead and salt and pepper the chicken. Now, what I've already done is I've already greased, uh, oiled the pan. I just used some ghee so that it doesn't stick. The chicken's already been washed and prepped. So all I'm going to do is just go ahead and add some sea salt all over and then just go ahead and some cracked pepper. All right, the chicken is seasoned. We're gonna head over to the stove and get the sauce ready. Now, the reason why I'm using butter is simply because when you're making buffalo sauce, the original sauce uses butter and Frank's hot sauce. They're the ones who created it. The other reason why I wanted to add butter, and I'm using four tablespoons, is I got four uh, chicken quarters over here. Chicken is wonderful and you always wanna eat it with the skin on, which I have here, because that's where the fat is gonna be at. However, compared to other meats, chicken tends to be higher in protein than it is in fat. So that's also another good reason why you wanna add some butter to help up your fat content. So with that, I'm gonna add in all my hot sauce. And all I'm gonna do is just quickly give it a stir to combine. It is combined. Don't worry about it being terribly hot. And now we're coating the chicken. Now, we're gonna get this in the oven. The oven's set, preheated to 350, or excuse me, 375, it's 350 on my convection oven. All right, it's on the shelf and it's gonna cook for about 45 minutes to 60 minutes. Okay, my cameraman was wondering, since he is such a lover of hot sauce, uh, why I didn't cover all of the chicken with it. And that's because probably about 15 minutes in or so, maybe 20, I'm probably going to uh, spoon a little bit on top that's already in the pan. I'm not as worried about it not covering every part of the chicken. It's still You're still going to get that flavor in there and it's going to be hot and delicious. So with that, what I'm serving my dish with is it, the chicken will be served over a salad and essentially the salad, I'm going to toss it in the blue cheese and I have a few minutes on it, the cheese before it actually comes out of the freezer. But just so you know what I'm putting in the salad, it's going to be just some kale with arugula that I've already gone ahead and chopped up and cleaned. I have uh, basic salad, cucumbers, radishes, 
red onions, I'm going to use some avocado, and then I've got some cherry tomatoes that I'm going to go ahead and cut in half, which is what I'm going to do now before that cheese comes out. All right, my blue cheese is very, very cold. It was only in for five minutes. So all you do, really, I put on gloves, and all you do is you just go ahead and you just break it apart and crumble it. You just work it with your fingers to the size you want. And usually the sizes are a little are, are uniform. And that really is it. Um, I'm using gloves just because uh, it is cheese and it just makes it a lot easier to handle when you're using that rather than skin oils on your skin. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna crumble up all this cheese. Like I said, this is about eight ounces I have. I'm gonna use five ounces in the actual salad dressing, which we're gonna be making next. All right, I got my blue cheese I'm gonna be using in the dressing. It's all here, it's all crumbled up. I'm using, a, I guess, a more chunky style of blue cheese, so it's got some big and some small crumbles. For the actual dressing itself, I got this recipe from The Diet Doctor. And if you've never been to the site, it is a membership site, but there are some, um, some content you can get for free. And it's a doctor uh, from Sweden who actually specializes in low carb ketogenic diets. And his site is a wonder, is, it, it, it's a treasure trove of information about sort of the science of low carb uh, dieting and ketogenic di dieting, tips and tools to help you get along as well as recipes. And this is where this recipe comes from. So what I'm using for the dressing is I'm using mayonnaise, fine. And this is an olive oil based mayonnaise that I'm using, but I'm also using full fat Greek yogurt plain, no flavor, just plain old Greek yogurt. A lot of people don't use Greek yogurt or um, because they think it has too many carbs in it. And the one thing you need to know about nutrition labels, they're pretty much on target more or less for every ingredient or every food item except one, and that is yogurt. And specifically yogurt with live cultures because the carbohydrate in there is, is the lactose and the live cultures basically feed on it and eat it. So there's no way to really measure uh, when it's in the container, if the cultures are alive, that how much carbs are actually left over in there. So a lot of doctors have estimated it's somewhere around half the amount that you usually find the normal little cups, seven ounce cups that you have, maybe around four grams of carbs in there, which is far different than the 10 or 11 you might see in there. And again, this is for full fat, plain yogurt, specifically Greek, especially, but where there's live cultures in there actually eating the, the lactose. So with that, I have these two ingredients, and I'm going to add the blue cheese and we're going to stir everything together. So this is the recipe, folks. It seems very simple. The taste is where it's really going to count, though. So let me go ahead and mix. All right, I have everything mixed. But of course, my cameraman, who magically, his voice never appears in the videos, wondered why it wasn't so flowy as he likes his blue cheese dressing. And that's because obviously it's very thick. You can certainly eat it this way. Uh, the recommendations for the recipe is either um, add water just to get it to the consistency that you like, or you can use cream. I don't have heavy cream, but I have heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. I'm not gonna add too much. And this particular recipe serves four people, although I think it can serve a lot more than four, but that's just me. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of this together and see where we go. I may have to add I'm not sure if I'm gonna add cream versus water, but we'll see. Okay, I got my uh, dressing. My husband is very happy with the consistency of it. So it's as thick as he likes it. Uh, and it's not overly runny, again, because he likes that. What, did I add, what I ended up doing is I didn't wanna add a whole lot of cream just because of I already have a ton of yogurt in here, so I didn't want to add even more lactose. What I ended up doing was just a couple of splashes of water. Again, it's all based on how much consist how, the desired consistency that you want, so I can't really give you a quantifiable amount. But it's time to taste test. And I think what I'm going to do is I have my scientific testing sticks right here, which is slices of cucumber. I'm going to give one to my husband with a little bit of blue cheese on there, but I'm going to let him taste it <laughs> and see what he thinks. Okay, <laughs> so he enjoys it. Here comes the real one. Now, granted, as you know, let's be honest, I'm not a fan of blue cheese, but I'm gonna give myself no guts, no glory, right? Oh, my blue cheese fell off. That's a little bit too much. Okay, no, here, bon appetit. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, 
That's good. I actually like that. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. It definitely has the blue cheese kick at the end, but it's not as heavy or strong. It's pretty mild, which is why I used a mild cheese. <laughs> and it's actually not, not bad. I like it. I really enjoy it. It's not... I think it's going to take me time to, to get used to eating blue cheese, but that, that is sort of a nice little gateway in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get this in the refrigerator, get it all nice and chilled. And I still have probably about 30 minutes or so, 30, 35 minutes on it, ah, on the chicken uh, before that comes out of the oven. All right, the chicken is out of the oven and it smells delicious. I basically took a little bit of the sauce and um, the butter that was in the pan and I just spooned it over a few times while it was cooking and then once again at the end and ooh, just want to dig right in. I'll link to my buffalo wing recipe below and it's basically the same recipe but I'm just using chicken quarters as opposed to wings for all intents and purposes. But the dressing, it's easy to make. It does taste good. So I have one recipe under my belt of something for Lent that I didn't like as a child and I like as an adult. So that's actually a pretty good record so far. Of course, it's the first recipe. And this dish, I normally do a little taste. I did the taste of the dressing earlier. I'm not going to take a taste out of this one. It's my husband's plate. I promised he would get the first dibs. Uh, he's been a good boy and he did a 24 hour fast today. So he is very, very hungry and he wants to eat. <laughs> So uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you give it a try uh, as far as making the uh, dressing out of Greek yogurt. It, it's actually quite good. I'm very happy with it. Uh, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, and until next time, I'll see ya.